So remember how I said last week was going to be the Deja Vu episode? Yeah, I kind of lied. I think this episode is going to be the major, major Deja Vu episode. Because here's the thing. We got to get some resource farms up, right? Right. And I'm still not even entirely sure or convinced of where I'm putting things. You know, someone floated the other day. I don't even know where I am anymore. This is all... What? Where's the octopus, everybody? Where's the octopus? Ah, there he is. So I saw somebody comment that we have a donut island. And yes, we do have a donut island. The problem is, holy crap, it's big. <laughs> and I don't really want to work that hard into it. Otherwise, we have this island, the one that I floated before, and it seems to be the most sense to me, and let me explain why. Not only is there tar right there, tar right there, and tar right there. We already have a uh, machine working for us. This is the edge of the map, right? Right, that's the edge of the map. I'm gonna explore down here, cool, cool, cool. So here's what I'm thinking. If the volcano was on this side of the map, and I can just use the edge of the map to transport there immediately. That's like still pretty good. That's still pretty darn good. And almost very similar to our first playthrough. So I still think this might be our resource island, everybody. And uh, why the deja vu? Well, <laughs> I got to transport all of this over here. But not before some pre-crafting is done. So... The pirate hat. What the heck is that gonna be used for, Beard? Well, once I get this birdie and then come on back here, I can make the press to hat to tater. Lovely. Even though I, oh, wait a minute. What? You don't need the horcus porcus sater for that thing. You just need that. That was weird, the game glitched. Did you see that? It said I needed the uh, porcus sater. Not true. So I need, or I got the shadow manipulator now. What I've also gone and done is make myself the Palm Leaf Hut. One of the best, most overpowered structures in Shipwrecked. It is unbelievable. I don't like to use the word overpowered a lot. This thing is way too good. It has no durability whatsoever. You stand underneath it, literally no chance to get wet. It is so, so good. Actually, this is not gonna be that bad at all. In fact, I'm almost done. <laughs> I kind of have everything I need over there. Really, I just need to, um, I just need to build the plots because it's obviously starting to get closer to hurricane season, so things are blowing away. So everything that is going to blow away, I put in here so I don't lose it this time. So I don't lose it this time. Um, might as well just do this, right? I got a little tingle and all that. <gasps> okay then, game. I see you. I see you. Heck yes. And I think this is the chest with the spear guns, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh crap, that was a week ago, I'm not gonna remember. Me getting that obsidian spear might not seem like much. 51 damage, it does gain more damage as you use it, of course. As uh, obsidian things get overheated, they get better, more efficient, blah, blah, blah. But an overheated obsidian spear in a spear gun deals 200 damage. Oof, oof, so good. But yeah, my thing now, Unfortunately, I gotta cosplay as Willow a little bit and uh, become a little arson. <laughs> I gotta clear the space so that I can start building these plots. I got like four days left. Not a whole heck of a lot of time, but should be enough. Oh, but first comes the task of making sure I don't waste everything. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to be picking some of this stuff. And these, um, of course, these sweet potatoes. Don't worry though. I kind of planned ahead for this a little bit in the fact that I have an ice box and crock pots ready to be made. Give me butter. Nope. Um, so, you know, they're not going to be completely wasted. But yeah, in my efforts to uh, make this my resource island, kind of got to burn resources. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes. Well, that didn't take long. And you might be thinking, hold up. Did you seriously just burn all of that? What the heck was the point? Was that even worth it? Yes. Do you see that? Everything has a purpose if you plan ahead, folks. I have not found a volcano yet. However, coffee and elephant cacti, two things I am 100% going to be using, will be needing ash. So, this island's sacrifice is still going to help out in the end. So now, 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 now... Time to get these plots up and rolling. I don't think I'm going to have them done before uh, hurricane season is here. 
and I really gotta make sure I have enough of these puppies. So, good thing I got this island right next door. Oh, I've run into my first snag, everybody, and thankfully there's a pretty darn easy way around it. Um, but the problem is, this is not sandy turf. So, turf priority is gonna be a problem. I wanna make X marks the spot resource plots. I think that's pretty darn uh, fitting of this character, wouldn't you say? Speaking of X marks the spots, geez, I got two of them. Um, but yeah, turf priority is not working in my favor. So I need to turf all around it too. And that's the whole thing. And then that's going to be, I don't know. We'll see how this works out. Might work out in the end. I don't know. Once I put start planting the berries, that might actually look kind of neat. Let's give it a whirl. Whoa, whoa. Hold up game. Slow your roll. Do I seriously hear who I think I hear right now? Are you, are you telling me that the seal NATO is coming? That doesn't make any sense. It's freaking hurricane season. Shipwrecked, I know, I know you done goof with the seal NATO all the time, but this is the biggest done goof you have ever done. It's coming. Dude, the, the seal NATO is coming and this is, this is history. This is, this is recorded. <laughs> what is happening? Um, um, okay. All right then, I, I guess, sure. I guess I'll just set this up very prematurely. Okay, got this, got this, uh, then do this. Okay, then I gotta get armor. Sure, that's not armor. I don't have, the seal NATO's here. The, the, the seal NATO is legitimately, okay. Um, you know what? This is gonna be a fight in the water, I think, everybody. Okay, hello, seal. Hello, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. All right, so the seal is playing nice, at least. At least there's that. I left him. I just left him. He spawned. He was over there. I left him. He didn't chase me. Okay, then. Sure. So I came back to the island, you know, where my alchemy engine is. I made myself some armor because I didn't have any other armor otherwise, right? And then I made another hand bat because I didn't have a freaking other weapon. So thank you for your sacrifice once again, wild boars. What the heck is the seal NATO doing? It's not hurricane season yet. <laughs> this is unreal. I, in all my years of playing Shipwrecked, Usually, the seal NATO just doesn't freaking spawn. It's so finicky. He spawned in mild season. He spawned like a bear jerk, <laughs> where bear just spawns in the first autumn. Wow, this is nuts. But, all right then. We're getting a seal NATO fight early, I guess. Hey, bud. How you doing? Jeez, can you not be dumb? <laughs> can you not be dumb and not spawn at this time? Man, this is going to be one of the first seal NATO fights. That, oh, boy, that's going to hurt. Yep. One of the first seal NATO fights where I don't have a, um, I don't have a swordfish. I don't have a swordfish, so I don't have a Cutlass Supreme. That's nuts. Also, know what else is nuts? The fact that you can't get sucked when you got stone walls like this. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. But hello, friend. This is going to be an easy fight. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, no um, no swordfish for extra damage means it's going to be a longer fight. But this is how you kite the dude, if you never knew. And uh, he really doesn't have any other attack. You know, he really doesn't. Ow, that was my fault. I ran into that one myself. He has no other attack than what you're seeing right now and that um, tornado move, which he's doing right now. See? And then you just go to the other side of the wall and you're totally safe. Yeah, it's a strange fight. <laughs> it's a strange fight all uh, around. But you got to be very, very careful of that uh, tornado move because holy crap, that does like 200 damage. It's rough. It's real rough. And you see... Oh, that's going to hurt again. I keep... I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm not doing this fight very well because I'm having a conversation, casual conversation with you guys. You see how he's close to the wall? Um, I would actually want him to get over here a little bit more, yeah. Just because once he actually, yep, once he actually does start to do that, I like to be totally safe, you know. Sometimes the game might think, hey, he's actually over the wall when he's not, so on and so forth. Hey, at least we're killing him on land too, you know what that means? Then we kill the seal and uh, get ourselves like instant Krampus spawn, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. What if we get a Krampus sack for this? That'd be awesome. That'd be freaking awesome. But the seal is dead, everybody. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. So, what we get? The turbine blades. And then, of course, we get to kill this son of a gun. Lovely, lovely. Krampus. Yep, come over here, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come over here. You're coming right to me. What if he drops it? What if he drops it? What if he... he didn't drop it? He didn't drop it. But there we go, everybody. The seal NATO. <laughs> the seal NATO in mild season. Because, you know, sure. 
Why not, Shipwrecked? Also, I hear crocodiles. So yeah, everything's just kicking off right now, apparently. Well, it's kind of good, because um, I was losing my cloth sail in a hot minute. So, hello, Iron Wind. Now my boat will go as fast as it can go. At least, you know, before I start adding other, uh, in some other player boosts, as you know. I don't know, I can't speak today. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, toss that in there. Jeez, okay, now it is hurricane season, everybody. And now apparently I don't have a boss to worry about. So that's actually kind of good. It's time to just keep on keeping on. As you can see, I started, it's time to finish. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, you're freaking kidding me. You're kidding me. I couldn't even give you my initial reaction to this because I was just flabbergasted. Literally just flabbergasted. Uh, I, I'll show you. I, I'll show you me digging it up. But I, I, okay. That, yep. Yep. That that just happened, everybody. That just happened. To be perfectly honest with you, I didn't even know that was possible. I didn't even know that uh, a walking cane was even possible out of any of those chests. This is a first. This is this is such a great day. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, oh, it's going to be a boring episode, man. Just going to be building the whole day. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Man, this is awesome. And all right, then. Okay. Maybe I really should just stick to building. <laughs> just stick to building. Because um, the game's just the game's just giving me stuff now. Sure. Why not? You know, this stuff might not be useful to me immediately right now. But trust me, it's going to be very helpful later as we continue to grow here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, I think that's pretty neat, actually. I don't think I need to fill out these little, um, corners yet. Maybe I will with something else, but I kind of just like the idea that it's literally an X marks the spot, but in the middle, it's all berry bushes. I don't know, I kind of like that. I'm probably gonna, like, do the exact same... Oh, here we go again. Here we go again. Remember how I... <laughs> Remember why I didn't want to use the hat? <laughs> Oh, this is why I didn't want to use the hat for things like today when it gives us stuff like that. Okay, so there's that, there's that. Now I gotta get my resources up because holy moly, my resources not looking good. So, let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, I'm really just gonna almost copy and paste that same design, I think. Here comes the rain. Jeez, I was wondering. Now I gotta think about some of these plots, though. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna do wood flooring here. It's gonna be like a, another port situation. I don't know, maybe I'll put this... That's So that would be centered there, dude. I gotta pay attention to this more often than not. Uh, yeah. Let's put that there, sure. Little off-center, boom, bada, bang. Now I'm starving, but that's good. Just make myself a meaty stew out of these. Good, good. The seal NATO man coming in. I can't believe it. <laughs> a walking cane out of an X marks the spot chest. I... I ugh. I didn't know that was possible. Like I said, that's crazy. That is just crazy to me. But, um, that's good. That's good. Once I get... I should do the grass first. To get the grass first. Uh, start putting this on. I don't know. I'm talking to myself, everybody. Talking to myself. But yeah, here comes the deja vu part. Uh, farm plotting. Oh, and silly me. Why did I not do this already? I already pre-crafted all this nonsense to begin with and brought over the resources. Yada, yada, yada. But good stuff. Now we can start getting ice and keeping it already. Man. Even though I did get some really good stuff in that first playthrough out of those X marks to spot chests and I got a, a good world spawn like we found the volcano already, this world is definitely going better than that one. <laughs> it just is. It just is. I'm playing better. You know, I'm having more fun. I'm prepared faster. I mean, I know I was still kind of building in hurricane season, but I think like I started building in hurricane season, you know? I'll be done in only a couple days. You know, once I... Uh just get my bearings and everything, and then by that point, all my rot's gonna be ready to go. Yeah, this is gonna be great. And then, and then, and then, and then, we maybe can end the day by exploring the edge of the map, maybe finding that dang volcano. Now that's gonna be absolutely great. You know what? I think this does look pretty nice, and I don't think I need to overdo it. It's another one of those where, wow, I really had one to spare. That is good, good, good. One of each. Wow, that is good guessing by me. So, well, hmm, the sides of these. Should I do one more row of twigs on each? Maybe. So I gotta go dig up some more twigs. I don't know, I kinda like that. Again, kinda going for the simple stuff here. It's not like I need to go crazy. How many is each? One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotcha, six. 
That's not bad. That's really not bad. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking the uh, the theme I got going on here. But uh, I really got to start fertilizing these things because my resources oh be a little low. Also, wait a minute. I got many more than that. Not gonna be able to finish it though. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out for right now. I'll leave it at his, uh, as is. Oh, floaty boaties, everybody, and not a moment too soon, because I have just begun using, ooh, you murdered it. I have just begun using my iron wind. Great stuff, and how do you uh, maintain an iron wind? Gears, so good, good, good. So, that must mean also that uh, they're in a, yeah, it's day 26, they should be spawning quicker than normal that's good that's good where am i going this way this way still have yet to find a swordfish <laughs> i know i said earlier maybe i'd spend today um looking for some things out on the water but uh i've been enjoying myself and spending a lot of time obviously here at base that i don't know if that's gonna happen we shall see folks we shall see and well there you have it folks all of my resource plots at least for now until i find the volcano are up and rolling i think or at least are in the process of being up and rolling thank goodness for all this dang fertilizer dude if i didn't have it oof oof that would be rough just like oh just like the last playthrough so these things are fertilized now you might be saying man that's a pretty darn small little resource plot for some of these things. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly for show, though. Let's be real here. Really, the only ones I'm going to be using, berry bushes and uh, and the actual resources. Everything else, not so much. And oh my gosh, the amount... Ugh, the amount of creatures I've been killing, or nightmare creatures, in freaking sane. All right, and remember how I said it was only going to take me like uh, two days to do it? Yep, didn't really happen in two days, but here's what we got. Uh, grass and twigs, going. Berry bushes, going. These things, just really for show. We have a little bit of a inland base going for us, and uh, I'm approaching the two-hour mark of recording. So here is the deal, I think. I'm going to... Go around the edge of the world here for a little bit. And if I find something, awesome. If I don't, well, <laughs> well, well, well. I guess we'll have to end the day just knowing that X marks the spot absolutely helped us tremendously today. But we didn't necessarily uh, make a lot of progress out on the water. So then next week will be like a water week pretty much. Just doing a crap ton of stuff on the water with tar. Hopefully finding uh, a swordfish for Pete's sake. Because we have yet to find a swordfish. A yada, yada, yada. Sound good? Sound good. So, yep. Just going to go to the edge of the world here. Kind of go inland a little bit. Or in uh, towards the middle of the world. See if I can find a volcano. That's the plan. We'll see. We'll see. Well, it's not exactly what I was looking for. But I found the uh, isolated ball fin little school. We can call them, I guess. School of fish. School of ball fins. All the way over here. <laughs> all the way over here. As you can see, I'm just going around the edge. Just going around the edge. So far, all I found, uh, two mangroves right next to each other with more water beef. So that's pretty interesting. So that makes three on this world alone when I didn't even find one in our previous world. That's pretty good. So now I'm going to start rounding the corner here. And I'm starting to think to myself, you know what? What if I just finish it? <laughs> just finish it. Just round the uh, entire map here. See if I can find it. I got the time. And if this episode's a little longer than usual, you know, it'll be worth it if we find the volcano. So that's my plan. Just going to get completely soaking wet out here. <laughs> Use up a lot of my boat durability. But hey, if I find a volcano or if I find a swordfish, yep gonna be worth it oh it's about time everybody hello swordfish only problem this guy is on the total total oh diagonal from me look at that oh all the way over here my goodness gracious there's got to be one closer there's got to be one up here so here's the deal i know i said i was gonna be maybe looking for the volcano but look at my boat health right now <laughs> yeah not great not great, and I do not want to push this. Uh, I don't have a sea yard yet, even though I easily could have made one. I was just focusing way too much on the resources today. So I'm going to get myself over to this island. Right, right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end there. It might seem strange, but I'm going to end there so that when I come back next week, I know that I need to make a boat repair kit with the bees, <laughs> okay? And then we can head on back home. Maybe look again. Yeah, okay. Next week for sure. Oh, Nessie's going to come get me. Uh, next week for sure will be 
um, on the water a lot. This was a resource episode and just a crazy episode with X marks the spots and bloody sealed NATO. Sealed NATO came and it wasn't even hurricane season yet. That was the whole thing. Yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff, folks. But thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm going to kind of make anchor here. Actually, there's one more X marks the spot. Hold up. Well, not ending yet. All right. What do you got for me for the end, everybody? Okay. All right, sure, I'll take it, and that, now my sanity is going to get bad again, but an ice flingomatic blueprint. Sure, <laughs> I guess, why not, I'll take the boards though, the boards, I'm going to have to start making my own storage back home, so boards are going to be good, great stuff, great stuff, All right, I'm going to end right here, so that when I come back, I know I got to use these bees, <laughs> it's going to be good, going to be good, but again, thanks for watching folks, I'll see you next time, bye bye.